Hello, I'm Dr. Sam, and this is Dr. Sam's Health. In my previous videos, I've been talking about the importance of goal setting when you are planning to transform your body to achieve very specific physique. And also, I provided you with a very useful tool, which is called Smart Goals. This tool is simply amazing, as I said before, because it's very simple to use, very realistic, uh, very cost-effective, and at the same time, it can lead you to pretty much amazing results. When I was talking about setting a very specific time frame for achieving your goal, I actually mentioned that your ultimate goal might take you a pretty long period of time to achieve it. So for example, if I want to look like Henry Cavill in The Man of Steel, it might take me a good year or two or three or five to get to the same level of physique he has. So in order not to be discouraged and to set more or less uh, realistic goals, sometimes it makes sense uh, to take your large goal, your ultimate goal, and break it down in pieces. And uh, instead of planning right away for some, some, something long-term, which is important to do, uh, it's, it makes sense to break down your goal into smaller time frames and plan for something to be achieved in, in the short term. So that is something I would like to talk to you about today. And uh, today's video will be a little bit opinionated because my goal is to uh, convince you that the very first initial goal for you likely will be to lose some weight. And I'll explain why. There are quite a few different scenarios where you want to have different uh, ultimate destinations or ultimate goals. But uh, I will try to go over the most common ones and to illustrate to you why I think weight loss should be the very first initial goal for you. So let's start with scenario number one, which is, I think, the most common one. Uh, when people simply feel embarrassed by the way they look like and they want to just lose a little bit of weight to look better. I know this scenario really well because I've been in this scenario for quite a few years in my life. Uh, I remember not going on vacation because I didn't feel like I would, I would look presentable uh, on, a, on a, any beach. I didn't want to undress in public. I felt like my clothes were not fitting me. I, didn't, I was not really happy with the, the way I was uh, doing my public speaking. Uh, I was pretty much unhappy with my body image, with the image I was projecting on other people. I was unhappy with a lot of things. And uh, I really, really wanted to lose some weight. Uh, so that is a very common scenario. Actually, I would say that at least half of you who are watching me right now would be in this exactly same situation. So as straightforward the situation is, uh, all you have to do is just simply to lose weight. We'll be talking about adding some exercise, whether it is necessary or not. I personally believe that uh, physical exercise is important. You should add some light to moderate um, physical exercise, but it's absolutely not necessary if, if you, to, to be added if, if you just want to lose weight. So that was scenario one. Scenario number two, is a little bit more compounded. In this scenario, you want to be healthy and look healthy. That is another very common scenario, as you can imagine. And again, you can set different goals, different trajectories for yourself in terms of how you want to achieve this goal. So you want to exercise a lot, you want to lose weight, you want to eat healthy, you want to eat only organic food, and so on. If we look at all factors, that play a role in development of uh, multiple, uh, primarily somatic, physical, and also mental disorders, you will see that the weight loss should be number one pick for you. Because being overweight leads to a number of medical conditions, primary cardiovascular, uh, cardiovascular problems, but also uh, reproductive uh, problems, uh, problems with your endocrine system and so on. So it is simply number one reason for people having a number of conditions. So 
smoking, sedentary lifestyle, and being overweight are three top reasons why people actually have lots of different conditions. So having said that, I would strongly recommend that if you want to be healthy and look healthy, the very first thing for you to do should be losing weight. The scenario number three is when you want to be some sort of a fitness model. You want to look like a fitness model. You want to be very fit. You want to gain a lot of muscle. And uh, you also want to lose some fat in order to have lower body fat percentage and in order to look really, really good and really fit. So this is a, another common scenario. And uh, I would say again that no matter how much you exercise in order to be physically fit, you will never look good unless you lose weight. The reason for that is that uh, you can have pretty big muscles, but if they're covered by a thick layer of uh, subcutaneous fat, if you have a popping out, your belly popping out, uh, your silhouette will never look good, you will never have six-pack abs, your muscles will not look shredded, and fit. So again, I would, in this scenario, I would suggest that you, again, start with weight loss and start adding physical exercise on top of uh, your weight loss uh, exercises or uh, your weight loss efforts. The reason for that is that it likely you won't even be able to actually work out really well if you are overweight. So jogging will, will, will become difficult, squatting will become difficult, you won't be able to do as many chin-ups and pull-ups if you are doing this kind of athletics, uh, simply just because you are overweight. Plus, no matter what you do, you won't, we won't even be able to see it. So again, in this scenario, my best bet would be to simply start with weight loss and then add in uh, some exercise as you see, as you see fit pun intended. Two other scenarios are not really relevant to what I preach here, but I will still uh, go over them. Uh, one scenario is uh, when you want to become like a world, world-class athlete. You want to become, to, to, you, you want to achieve certain performance goals, meaning like running marathon in a very specific time, doing some uh, bench presses with very specific weight, you want to become a power lifter, you want to become a marathon runner, you want to become like literally a very, very successful athlete. For this scenario, weight loss might not seem to be like the very first thing you would like to do, and most likely you will lose some weight in the process of achieving these goals, uh, but I would still recommend that you lose some weight in order to be competitive in your field. Uh, several reasons for that. First of all, your performance will never be as good as uh, someone's whose body fat percentage is lower for majority of sports. You won't be able to run as fast. You won't be able to lift as much if, you're, if you've got a lot of uh, adipose tissue, which is fat. Uh, your testosterone levels will be lower if you have a lot of adipose tissue. It is actually quite unhealthy to exercise when you're really, really overweight. Uh, just because you put an extra strain on your cardiovascular system, extra strain on your joints. So for example, if you are heavily overweight and you are trying to jog, I can almost guarantee you that in a very short time frame, you will ruin your joints and you will end up not in a wheelchair, but you will have this pain for, for years from, 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 from the get-go. You don't want this. You want to lose weight and then become an athlete. Or you can do both things at the same time, but again, uh, something that would really uh, help a lot in the very beginning of your body transformation or, or in the very beginning of your journey to your ultimate goal would be to lose weight. Okay, the last scenario is, is, rather, is, is literally an exception. Uh, some people struggle with gaining weight, meaning that they are too skinny and they cannot gain weight. In this case, of course, weight loss would not be an applicable uh, solution and I would never recommend doing this, uh, but still I would recommend doing some nutritional changes in order to, uh, to, to gain weight. 
This is, a, again, an exception. There are not too many people who have this problem, but they do exist. I mean, uh, the, the percentage of people who are trying to lose weight is uh, way higher than the percentage of people who are trying to gain weight. Usually, these are quite young people who have not fully matured and have not fully embraced the you know, contemporary lifestyle of eating fast food, eating in the office, being stressed, uh, sitting in the office a lot of time and they just struggle with uh, gaining weight no matter what they do. Uh, they, of course, they want to look very physical, very fit, very muscular and they struggle with this. I, I think I do have a solution for that too. I'll make a special video for that and in this video actually I will talk about how to gain weight and how this relates to the rest of us who actually are trying to lose weight. Okay, now we have covered these five scenarios. I believe that these five scenarios relate to like 99% of people in the internet who are searching for some information. Uh, you can see that with the exception of scenario number five, when the person is just too skinny and they want to gain some weight, uh, you would actually at least benefit from weight loss. Uh, some people would argue uh, saying that, you know, you, you, need, you need to work out a lot, you need to increase your exercise, you need to uh, do a number of other things in order to achieve the body transformation goals. But I would argue back saying that 60 to 80 percent of your success in achieving your ultimate goal in these four scenarios would be still done in the kitchen, not in the gym. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of fitness gurus or fitness trainers uh, would actually agree with me, as well as researchers. If you look into some studies, you will see what can be achievable in a uh, short-term perspective, in a long-term perspective, and how much nutrition plays a role in, in these achievements. So having said that, I would strongly recommend, and I hope that you're convinced uh, that I'm right right now, uh, I would strongly recommend that you focus on weight loss first, by simply picking a diet and focusing on sticking to this diet and achieving uh, some substantial weight loss in a relatively short period of time. I will have quite a few recommendations regarding weight loss, uh, quite a few recommendations about diets, and I'll make a, a special series of videos about diets, just talking about the diets that work and, and uh, why they work, talking about diets that do not work in my opinion and they should not work actually. Uh, my next video will be about measuring your, your body fat percentage, your body characteristics in general and uh, that video will be followed by a new one which will be the beginning of this series of videos about diets. And I'll, the very first thing I'll be talking about will be the three diets that I believe are amazing uh, and they, I believe that they work and they make sense. So having said that, I'll again wish you good luck in achieving your personal goals, your body transformation goals, your greater physique, and I'll ask you to leave feedback and to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.